Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So, let's see what the energy is like. I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. Now, cross watcher, if you're dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the roles, okay? So, Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini? Thank you, show me. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you. So we have great fortune. I don't know why I'm hearing, uh-oh, you're in trouble. So show me more. Somebody got some sort of legal issues going on. And then going forward, we have privileged lady. Okay, great fortune and privileged lady. We do have courtship at the bottom of the deck. But we, um, they also show me the journey card. <laughs> Um, you could be at a distance from this air sign, but this could also tell me that this is a situation that may be over. Yeah, courtship, message of concern, we have despair, and we have sudden wealth. And then we have toil and labour. Okay. So give me a romance card for this situation. Thank you, Spirit. No, I'm hearing someone's a thief. <laughs> Somebody steal something? What's the energy in love? And going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So we do have, it says forgiving and learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. And then going forward, we have, oh, we have release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Okay. Now give me one kip, uh, not kipper, one uh, moonology card for this situation. Thank you, spirit. I'm hearing something about Virgos. This person may be upset because you were the goal mind. Hmm. Maybe you're having a lot of luck at this time, Virgos, right? Maybe this person sees you as the privileged lady. I'm hearing... Um, what am I hearing? <laughs> respected, in the, respected in the eye of the most high. So maybe you're just highly favoured with this privileged lady. But let's see. Give me one card. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here for my Virgos that are dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini? What are we getting stuck on? It says, believe in the impossible and confidence is the key to success. So are you coming across as very confident right now, Virgos? You are highly favoured. Why? Is it because you believe in the impossible? I don't know if someone here is suffering with migraines or it could be it could be an eye issue. Maybe someone here wears glasses or something like that. But show me more. Thank you. So we have adjustments are required. And then we have look at the bigger picture. I'm hearing someone missed the small details. But you, as a part of the deck, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches and we have surrender to the divine. Yeah, and your hard work is paying off here, Virgos. So what is this for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign? Thank you, Spirit. Makes me feel like someone here is not eating or they're not eating properly. Maybe someone here just doesn't have an appetite. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. There's something here about somebody being on the down low. So I don't know if that's down low in the sense of someone here just feeling kind of like the despair energy, depressed, not themselves, you know, kind of in a low vibrational place. Or I don't know if someone here is upset that this, they're being exposed for being into the same sex or something like that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It feels like... <laughs> They're giving me Michael Jackson now and they're giving me the song In the Closet. So, <laughs> Spirit, what is this? Virgo is dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. What is great fortune and forgiving and learning? Nine of Pentacles tried to flip out there, Virgos. They didn't quite come out. Nine of Pentacles wanted to. Ooh, five of wands. Who's arguing? Who's fighting? Who's going through some sort of conflict here? What is the Five of Wands energy? The Hierophant? Maybe in a marriage? Is this about a difference between... Oh, no, maybe a marriage for Wands at the bottom of the deck. I was going to say for some of you, this could be like a difference is arguments in terms of a difference in beliefs, tradition, religion values but it, it could be a marriage <laughs> what is this thank you spirit you have the king of cups hmm ten of swords at the bottom of the deck page of pentacles seven of pentacles and a knight of pentacles with the ace of cups for some of you this is someone who who, who is struggling here with the choices that they made i feel like this is someone who is regretting not investing in you or taking too long to offer you something solid here. I'm hearing string along. Show me more. Oh, we have a king of pentacles. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone here is married. But it could be one of those situations. Maybe someone here just battles with their emotions, right? Maybe this is someone who is in some sort of a commitment here. But maybe their heart actually belongs to you. What is this? Um, I mean, now, for some of you, if you are married to this air sign, it could just be that maybe there's a lot of arguments in this relationship because this person doesn't express themselves. They don't say how they feel. But what is the um, five of wands and the king of cups? So we have the eight of wands. And almost coming out in the reverse, we have the four of cups here. You see, for some of you, this is someone who wants to take some sort of action towards you here because they don't want to miss an opportunity with the Four of Cups coming in the reverse. Hmm. What is the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles? Temperance. And the Three of Swords. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So again, for some of you, this is someone who very much still keeps an eye on you. Or they may just be very curious about what is happening in your life here, right? This could also talk about delayed communication. And for some of you, they're curious about how you know things. Or... This is someone who may be learning some sort of lesson with the um, justice out here. But I feel like with the temperance as well, it makes me feel like this is someone who wants to come in and balance the scales. But I don't know if this person kept you as a mistress with this high priestess or they just have secrets here. But temperance with the three of swords, it feels like this person is very much craving some sort of peace, some sort of balance here. And maybe you provided that to this person. But oh, Three of Swords, why is the Three of Swords here? Heartbreak, betrayal. This is someone who may feel lonely. This talks about sadness, heartache, Knight of Pentacles. What is the Knight of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles. 
it's almost like they want to come toward you, but there's there's some sort of delay or there's, you know, they, they want you to be patient with them here. Give me one more. Or like I said, maybe in the past, this person took too long to make you a solid offer. And they're in their head about it. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. One more. The Nine of Wands. I feel like wherever this person is, they go through some sort of a tough time here. They may feel very low on energy, right? This person may be kind of lacking courage. Or like I said, they want you to hold on because maybe they're coming to the end of a situation. Maybe they are closing out a cycle here. But this is definitely energy, especially with the justice about this person learning some sort of lessons from the past. So again, you know, I feel like for a lot of my Virgos, when you keep coming out with this temperance energy, this earth angel energy, that you're kind of going through life teaching people lessons. But a lot of those cycles are now coming to a close. They're not meant to stay open. You're not meant to stay around. You're not meant to linger, right? You're meant to go in, learn these lessons and move forward. And I feel like a lot of these, whether they're soulmates here or just, um, I don't know, right? But it, it just feels like a lot of these other people, they're finding it very difficult to let go of the Virgo's energy here. What is this privileged lady and release your ex? Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles energy. Show me more. The Ace of Swords. So they want to come forward and have some sort of communication here, right? Or they're trying to, oh, I was going to say strategize. Or they're trying to put some sort of plan together here to come towards you. But I feel like this person is trying to think what to say. But show me more. What's the Queen of Pentacles? The Six of Swords, yeah. I knew something like that was going to come out. I was seeing the world at the bottom of the deck. The chariot, the ace of wands and the nine of swords. And then you got this person stressed out because you are moving forward. You're moving to karma waters, six of swords. You're leaving. So, you know, this would tell me that a lot of you, you dealt with someone who was not only a liar. You know, this is someone who thought they was clever, right? This is someone who would tell you whatever it is that you want to hear um, just so they could get the outcome in a situation. But again, that energy of stringing you along. Yeah, now I'm hearing, so I had to let it go. And then it's that song, right? It looks like another TKO. What's the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords? Seven of Wands coming out sideways. Yeah, but you see, Virgos, you have your defenses up. Or your ancestors and your angels are very much protecting you here. Seven of Pentacles. I just saw the Page of Pentacles. You are being very careful about what choices that you make here, who you invest in. And like I said, for some of you, you invested enough time in this person already. And see how you got the Six of Pentacles in the tree. And then you have just this one pentacle between his legs. And I just said I saw the Page of Pentacles. You're making practical decisions. And for some of you, it looks like your choice is to start new. And for some of you, this person wants to come towards you and say, hey, listen, give me one last chance. What is the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords? Two of Wands. And the three of pentacles. So my Virgos, you're going to be left in a position here for some of you where you're going to need to make a choice. Do you want to work with this person or do you want to move forward? Do you want to build something with them? For some of you, this could even just be someone who wants to work with you. This may be a work situation. What is the three of pentacles? What's the Three of Pentacles with the Two of Wands? The Eight of Swords. Show me more. Six 
Six of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Swords energy. There it is. Someone here is feeling defeated because you walked away. And you're still celebrating here. And some of Virgos, you're not rushing into anything. This person is feeling trapped. They're having some sort of a mental issue here. Because they're feeling left out in the cold. And you're having some sort of success. And for others of you, there's someone here that is being released from prison, from jail. You may be meeting this person, right? That could be the lesson that they needed to learn here. But it's almost like celebrating that someone here is being released. So what else do we have? Give me three cards for this situation. My Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. So I am seeing magical space clearing time. Two little witches. You have the natural world needs you. Yeah, okay. For some of you, you see, this energy has been coming out a lot, but I'm so glad that this energy has been coming out quite a lot as well. So we have the voodoo back off. So this person could have been trying to put some sort of spell work here on you or um, manipulate your energy is what I'm hearing. But you see, we have the number 10 and it says a powerful energy shift. It's the eclipse mermaid. So something here has come to an end. Yeah. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Thank you, spirit. You have, I can't stop thinking about you. We have, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. <laughs> it was my fault, but I blamed you. You have, I am not available. Yeah, for some of you, this person is already in a relationship. You have, I hope that you can forgive me one day. And then we have, I feel you even though we are apart. But on the deck though, we have, we need to let go of each other. So give me three of these, my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, a Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Yeah, I just I just heard that song by who is it by <laughs> too many songs. <laughs> I'm hearing sexual healing. I don't know, maybe I don't know. Yeah, I mean, continue. So you have healing connection. It says your romance will transform your life. Maybe you change this person's life somehow. Look at this. You have love language. It says physical touch. It says a tender touch means so much. And then you have rendezvous. It says a private getaway for two is calling you. This is good. This, I always get this energy from air. I don't know why. Uh, this is giving very sexual energy here. Just give me one card for those cards. I want to see something. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> okay, Spirit. So, give me six cards for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign in Aquarius, Libra, or a Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. So, we have shock. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, and transformation. We have not today. It says boundaries and hurt, avoiding conversations, not dealing, still upset. We have mask. Yeah, and it came out sideways. So it says hiding true feelings, pretending, deluding, gaslighting. Three more. Coming out sideways, you have the ship. This person, I feel like this person tried to stop you from moving forward. 
or like there may have been some arguments here or fights. It says cutting ties. It says moving on, receiving what you need, progression and arriving. And for some of you, I feel like it's a shock to this person that you actually moved on here. Maybe they didn't expect you to. But it's like some of my Virgos, you got some sort of clarity and truth here. So, two more cards. We have ascending. Yeah, it says learning and expansion. It says transcending, preparing for union, new phase. And one more. Thank you, Spirit. In the reverse, it says key on a ring. It says many options, unconventional, one night stand. And what did I say about that word I kept hearing? String along. Now, it came out in the reverse. So maybe, I don't know, Virgos, maybe you just wasn't prepared to be an option for this person. And for some of you, maybe this person is going to come towards you and tell you that, hey, listen, those options that I had or, hey, listen, that relationship or that marriage that I was in is no longer. Spirit, what is the advice here? Give me three cards for my Virgos. What's the advice in this situation? One more. So what I'm seeing here is you have a line. And I feel like this talks about some of Virgos, especially with the ascending and not today and learning to turn you back on this situation. It makes me feel like you are very much aligning your mind, body and soul here. Okay. And then you also have restless energy with karma. I feel like this person may be drinking here. It doesn't have to be. Maybe they just, I don't know, maybe this is someone who parties a lot or something like that. But it feels like they're in restless energy and because they're receiving karma. And for some of you, this could have been a karmic lesson here, right? So Virgos, that is what I have for you if you are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Guys, if anything in the reading did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light, Virgos.